characteristics of planning planning means looking ahead and choking out future courses of action to be followed it is rightly said well plan is half done planning deals with the future and involves forecasting but mere forecasting is not a planning planning requires assessing the future and providing resources for it so planning is an intellectual activity and a goal oriented activity to deal with the future uncertainties the various definitions of planning given it's a important characteristics are under first one universal process planning is universal process it is present in every field at every level of management planning is necessary all the activities of unit have to be planned planning is found in all types of activities belonging to various field like business unit politics education religious field social field etc second characteristics of planning is primary function planning is the primary function of management the most primary function of management is planning management begins with planning based on that their functions of management like organization direction coordination and control are implemented other functions of management is based on the planning so we can call planning as the primary functions of management and third one conscious and mental process all the decision of planning are taken based on conscious and calculative estimates all the decisions of planning are taken based on various calculations and it is a intellectual activity thus planning is conscious and a mental process why it become the conscious it is based on various discussions and various thinking after we are going to make a proper plan for any organization another characteristic flexibility flexibility means we can change as per the situations it is not rigid flexibility is the preconditions to planning it can never be rigid in planning various type of calculations and assumptions are made still however because of external factors affecting business unit the changes are required to be made in it suitable to time circumstance and situation thus as there is possibility of change to be made in future planning has to be flexible flexibility is precondition to planning it can never be rigid another point precise is the matters considered for planning are to be studied exactly planning is a process for the future is the matters consider for planning are to be studied exactly on the basis of statistical data collected information etc must be perfect and precise planning is for future whatever may be considered in this matters how to be studied exactly is the figures and the information about the same how to be precise precise means very clear and exact forecasting is essential sixth character of planning is forecasting is essential planning is one type of predicting about the future forecasting is done by considering future uncertainties while making a plan for a business unit while planning for the business unit forecasting is made keeping into consideration about future uncertainties then after based on that planning is made hence only henry foil described the forecasting and planning as the primary function of management seventh point list of alternatives planning in any field includes various plans and alternatives when there are various alternatives available for the achievement of objective of the unit questions of planning arises different type of plans we are going to use in management process about any type of organization in planning of any field various type of plans or various alternatives are there for plan of increasing sales in future there are various alternative available like increasing advertisement 
price to be reduced to train salesmen or various attractive plans to be introduced for promoting sales out of which the best alternative is to be selected best and more suitable plan situation going to select for the achievement of a predetermined goal of any of the field or organization another point it is concerned with the future another characteristics of planning concerned with the future planning is done in present and it is about the future now we are going to decide and after we are going to implement this planning presumes uncertainty involved in future forecasting assumptions are done later on in short planning is related with the future because it is evaluating future at present and accordingly making arrangement for the same it is necessary to know about future uncertainty well in advance with the planning then only about that prior thinking or assumptions are made in short future to be evaluated in present and necessary arrangement to be made about the same thus planning is related to future ninth point it is a continuous process planning is a continuous and a perennial process perennial means permanent planning is that process which begins with the establishment of the organization and continues till end as per time and circumstances the plans are also required to be changed planning is a continuous and permanent process at the time of beginning of business planning is to be made after making planning with the changing time and different circumstances or situations changes are to be required to be incorporated in planning we want to adopt different sub plans and various standing plans to achieve the organizational objective because of actual planning that is made in present and it is going to deal with the future so in that time as per the situations and time and different type of the problems there is a chance to arising so we want to deal with making alternative plans also after making planning with changing time and circumstances changes are to be required to be incorporated in planning till the business exist planning activity never ends this planning activity will end with the end of that process or end of that organization 10th point objective oriented activity planning is made for the achievement of determined objective in future planning is made for achievement of determined objective in future managers determine goals suitable to objectives if these goals are pragmatic pragmatic means it is possible then only achievement of objectives become easy thus planning is a objective oriented activity at the time of planning we are going to deciding its objective what we are expecting from this activity so planning is a objective oriented activity 11th point it requires decision process in planning about various activities prior thinking and assumptions are made we know that the planning is a primary function management begins with the planning based on other functions of management like organization direction coordination and control in planning about various alternatives prior thinking and assumptions are made then after out of this the best alternative is selected and the appropriate decisions is taken thus planning in planning decision process is very important it is based on different alternatives ways and on the basis of different decisions assumptions and forecasting these are the important characteristics suggested by many managerial experts